on a private road, so there's a bit wibbly wobbly. I'm so sad. We came to Hornsey Mere. We were like, oh, let's have a little treat, a little day out, real nice time. It's beautiful there. I've been before. I'll leave a uh, whatever it is up here uh, if you want to go see that video. But it's all closed off. I'm so sad. But it's not a wasted journey. Hornsey is lovely. We're going to go to the seafront, have a little walk. Been there before as well. I just. <laughs> You know when you like something, you're just like, we'll go back there. Oh, we'll take you to the seafront, see what we see. We have left it a bit late during the day, actually. But yeah, we're just gonna have a little, a little look around. I'll keep you updated. to the seafront and it looks really beautiful today it's nice and calm the clouds are all fluffy and floaty and lovely oh we do come quite often we normally have a flask <laughs> but our flask broke so we might buy a cup of tea from somewhere i think the leisure center might have a little cafe in there we do normally just pop back there and get some fish and chips which is <laughs> tempting but um, yeah, we're gonna take a nice stroll along the seafront because I can see that the sea's quite far out so we can walk along the beach. So this is Hauntsy Hub. It's got a gym, a swimming pool, a cafe, that kind of thing. There's also some amusements right next door, which is good good fun. There's loads of amusements and loads of fish and chip shops and stuff around here actually, it's pretty good. Goodness gracious, <laughs> £5.20 for two drinks. I think I'm gonna have to invest in a flask again. <laughs> but we got a delicious cup of tea. Alex got a latte. And we're just gonna head over to the beach now. been blessed with some really good weather recently and it just felt right little trip to the seaside Play a game. Spot my shoes. I'm not looking forward to walking back up there with bare feet. <laughs> Oh no! Sorry little piggies! 
is nice fluffy oh we always when we come to Hornsey we always stay around the same bit so I'm kind of determined to go for a little walk today so we might take our cups of teas and coffees and walk up that way and see what we can see so the holiday park just up here there's quite a few in and around Hornsey, I think. I love how if you look out, you can see all of the wind turbines doing their thing over there. So, <laughs> we've come down here. Now we might go down there and have a little peek, but we don't want to go too far. Uh, I don't fancy scrambling up this cliff if the tide does come in. But you can see the holiday park does keep going up along here what a beautiful view so we'll pop down here take a walk over there but we won't go any further and we'll be nice and swift about it it's best to be sensible isn't it respect the sea We found this really peaceful bit. I think because it's got the protection of this wall here and also the cliff up there, it's just so peaceful and gorgeous. I was saying to Alex, there's not a ton of seagulls around like there are in Bridlington. Perhaps that's because there's not as many cliffs them to nest in and everything. Or perhaps there's not as many tourists eating fish and chips. <laughs> I would love to stay in one of those. Imagine waking up in the morning at sunrise and having your breakfast on the veranda overlooking the beautiful sea. I really love finding quartz when I'm looking around at pebbles on a beach. Thank you. There's some seabirds just over there. But they don't look like seagulls because they've got really black heads. I'm going to have to get my bird book out and try to identify them, I think. Look at this one in layers. It's like on a map when you want to know how high a hill is. So we're just heading back to the car now. We took a walk over uh, to, as if we were going towards Mappleton, I believe. But if we go the other way, which is this way on the way back, you've got Fraysthorpe, Bridlington, Scarborough, um, Flamborough. Oh, we've got, sorry, I missed out Filey. We've got Robin Hood's Bay, and that's all over there, which I love. I did do a video actually on five seaside towns in one day. If you wanted to have a look at that, I'll leave it 
up here somewhere and you can click on that and have a look at some you can have a look at some east coast seaside towns that we visited in case you wanted to visit yourselves well that was our little trip around hornsey i'm sorry i couldn't take you around the mere but it's been a beautiful beautiful day nonetheless so thank you so so much for joining us today hope you've enjoyed the tour and i hope to see you in another video goodbye